It's another great day for drawing, and I've had a request from Sam that we would draw an excavator. So I looked through my toys and found several different construction rigs that I could use as models to draw from. Toys are great to draw from because they simplify a lot of the details, and you can turn them and try different views and different perspectives of them. Uh, but I didn't have an excavator, so I had to go to my books and I found the book, The Construction Alphabet Book, and E is for excavator. So we will have a model to draw from. Um, and then the nice thing about drawing from a model like a picture um, in a book is that we're able to look for the edges and it's already been simplified. It's already been made to only have height and width to it. If we were looking at it in real life, it also have depth to it. And then as the artist, we would have to flatten that and figure out how to make a three-dimensional object look two-dimensional. So this is a great way for learning to draw. I'm going to have my paper at the landscape view because this picture is um, wider than it is tall. And so it makes sense to turn my page this way. The next thing that I'll be doing, I'm gonna use my Sharpie as always, and I'm going to start in the middle. Um, I'll kind of start with this cab. It's not quite centered, it's just a little bit off from centered. And I'll start with the cab here, and then I'm going to just draw out from there. So starting with the top line of the cab, there's a black rectangle there that's nice and dark. And then coming down from there is some kind of metal piece there probably a little something sticking out and from there there's a little part that goes right there and then coming along here is the floor of the cab okay and then coming down um we maybe want to draw this hydraulic that's right here first before we go any further because it comes across here so it's on the upper side there's some kind of shape here. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll do our best to draw in the shapes. Then this hydraulic comes up to about to the top of the cab. And then you can see there's a smaller metal part right there. Okay, so now that the hydraulic is there, I can kind of see where to put the seat. And then you see the seat part there. And then coming out from there, you can see it looks like a leg and a foot there. You also see something that's on the bottom. And then there looks like maybe this is the arm and a hand on that right there. That probably is something that's running the machine. Then coming down from here, there's a line there and a line there. And then let's make this cab part continue right there. And we could blacken it in. Okay, and we could also blacken this part in now if we want to, make it nice and dark. Um, now the cab does continue over on this side, so let's go ahead and get that part there. And then you can't see the head, but I want to show that there's actually a person driving this, so I'm gonna put a shadow there for the head. And then coming up, if we could kind of go over from this part, you see there's a part that drops down here. And then coming up from here is a hydraulic. So I feel like, we, yeah, it would be good to draw that hydraulic in there. And then this piece, and it connects here. Okay, and then there's this big part coming up here. And then I'm seeing this part needs to go all the way up. So let's put that there. Okay. And then from here, you can see that connects there. Okay. It's um, so interesting seeing all these pieces of what connects to where. And maybe you know someone who works in construction or might have a picture or you could watch a video to see a little bit more of the details and maybe learn about what these parts are called. Um, 
one of the times as you start to draw something, it makes you very curious about what you're drawing and how the pieces work together and what pieces do what, what they're called. You can learn a lot just by drawing something. very complex. There's so many parts going on here and I don't understand all the parts. I have to make guesses as to what they are and what they might do. Okay, let's continue those pieces. And then it looks like this might be used for hooking a big cable to the bucket. Maybe that's how they use, um, how they're able to move this big bucket. So I bet this bucket weighs a lot. And here's the teeth. And then from there, they kind of go up. So we'll let them continue. And then there's these lines here. They're somewhat horizontal. So let's try to keep that there. Okay, oh, and then there's two ridges there. This area is really dark. So I might just go ahead and shade that part in. There's also this really dark part here and you can decide if you want to color that part in as well. There's some few little rivets of some sort there. Um, let's see, can we go back to see what details I might have missed? All right, so we've got that part of the excavator. Now we need to get the rest, this other side, which I'm not sure if this is like what you might call the counterweight or what, but I have a feeling this looks like a very heavy part of it. This is probably where all of the um, motor is at and the, all those parts. Here we go. Okay, now let's see from there. Okay, this actually, yeah, that's fine. This didn't quite match up, so we'll just add that there and then add this piece in. And then we're ready to draw those big tracks. Some more horizontal lines. And then this part in here. And then there's dirt here, so it's blocking part of the track. So we'll go ahead and get that dirt drawn in. Kind of continues back there. Okay. And then we've got another track that comes up along here and down. Can't really see those so much. Okay, this is really coming along here. And then there's this big pile of dirt here. So we'll get that in there. All right, then this part needs to connect here. A lot of dark parts in here, so when you're coloring that in, you can color that darker. So there is my es excavator, and here's the image. I'll show that for a bit. And if you need to pause the video to look at that more, you can. And then there's my finish.
product. Well, time to dig into some more art. I hope you enjoyed this today.